So in this video, I'm gonna show you everything that I carry around in my bag to make editing on LumaFusion an absolute joy. So if you wanna see that, stay tuned. Hey, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. Now on the channel, we're gonna be having a ton of LumaFusion tutorials, but in the comments, people have been asking me, what do I use to import the footage to LumaFusion? What microphones do I use? Things like that. So I'm gonna show you everything that I use in conjunction with LumaFusion to make the whole process so much easier. So you know what, let's get into it. Let me show you everything that I use on my desk. All right, so let's start off with the number one thing I think you need. If you're filming, you know that video footage takes up a hell of a lot of storage. So this is what I use. This is the Samsung T5 uh, portable SSD drive. I made the mistake of going for the 500 gigabyte model and it's not quite big enough. So I'm gonna be upgrading this to a one terabyte or a two terabyte, just because we film everything on a Sony A64 at 100 megabytes per second and this gets filled up very, very fast. But this is great because you can plug it in directly with USB-C into your iPad Pro if you have one of the newer ones. Uh, if not, you can get a dongle and then plug it into an older iPad as well. And it works perfectly fine and shows up within the Files app and inside LumaFusion. Number two is this little dongle that I have. And this is essentially a little uh, USB-C dongle and it's got four ports on it. It's got a normal size USB port. It's got a micro SD and an SD card reader. And it's also got a USB charging port. Now this can't be used for transferring information but it means you can power your iPad whilst you're also powering an external microphone, an SD card reader or your external hard drive. So this is something you must definitely have within your bag. So one big reason why I really like to use this dongle is because it saves space on my iPad Pro and let me explain. So what you can do when you're done filming and you've got you know gigabytes and gigabytes of footage you can put your SD card into the SD card reader side of things and then you can plug in your external drive into the normal size USB port it won't go into the USB-C section and then plug that into your iPad Pro you'll then get both the SSD drive and the SD card show up in your files app and then you can drag footage from your SD card directly onto your external hard drive without it going onto your iPad first. And this saves you a ton of storage. So this is great if you wanna back up footage uh, when you're out on your travels on the go, or if you just wanna keep your footage on your SSD and you don't wanna transfer it first onto your iPad Pro. Okay, so the next tool, I have to talk about it. This is the brand new LumaFusion keyboard cover from Editor's Keys, and we produced this with the LumaFusion team, and it's absolutely fantastic. It's a keyboard cover for your iPad Pro's smart keyboard. We're doing these for the Magic Keyboard 2, and they essentially protect your keyboard, especially if you've got the new Magic Keyboard. You don't want spills, dirt, and dust getting into those but it contains all of the shortcuts for LumaFusion. So if you wanna edit faster and turn your iPad Pro into a more professional workstation, definitely check out the LumaFusion keyboard cover. And that is always on my smart keyboard cover and it's always in my bag. Now the next tool is something you may not have even noticed if you've been watching the videos on our channel, but it's something that I have attached to the iPad Pro screen and it's called a Paperlike. Now it's essentially a screen protector for your iPad Pro screen. It gives you a great amount of anti-glare, which is what I really, really like. So obviously we've got the studio lights blaring at the screen at the moment. And if this wasn't on, all you would see is reflections now, but of course you can see it's quite matte unless I really, really turn it into the light directly. But also the beauty of it, if you use the Apple Pencil for drawing, for note taking, it makes it feel like you're actually writing on a piece of paper. You get that resistance that you get with a pencil or a pen on a piece of paper, rather than that glossy feeling of drawing over a glass screen. So check out that. I always have a USB microphone in my bag. This is the Studio Series SL600 microphone. Uh, you can also use an SL150 microphone or basically any USB microphone which is compatible with USB-C will work with LumaFusion. You may need, in some cases, a powered adapter. Microphones like the SL150 don't require any extra power, but the SL600 does require additional power. So you would just plug it into this port of your adapter and then use the power to power both your iPad and the microphone. And it essentially means 
that when you're out on the go, if you record voiceover, which is what I do a lot for probably like 90% of our videos, we record tutorials and then we record voiceover on top. You can plug this in to your iPad and you can record broadcast quality voiceover directly into LumaFusion and it's super, super easy without any sort of complicated setup procedures. <laughs> Lastly is Apple's Magic Mouse. Now I go between this and the Logitech Pebble Mouse, which you can see a review of by clicking up here. But now um, iPadOS has mouse and trackpad support. I really like using this. If I'm editing for a long period of time, just using the keyboard and mouse makes it feel like I can be much more productive. Now, of course, if you've got the Magic Keyboard uh, cover for your iPad, you'll have the trackpad on there. But I sometimes like just taking the, the smart keyboard because it's a lot lighter. It's about half the weight of the Magic Keyboard. And then I can just throw in the mouse as and when I need it. So if I'm not doing any editing, I'll probably just leave this at home. But if I'm going to like a hotel or I'm going uh, back to see family and I need to do a bit of editing while I'm there, I'll usually take the mouse, chuck it in my bag, and it means I've got that full desktop or MacBook-like experience on my iPad Pro. So there you go, that's a roundup of all the gear that I carry around in my bag when I'm using LumaFusion on the go to get all my edits done. Let me know if there's anything missing. Have you got something that you use that I haven't posted in this video? I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to know all the little secret hacks and tricks that you use to help you edit faster in LumaFusion. Now, if you've got any questions about any of the items or if you want links to the product pages, I'll put those in the description below the video. So thanks for watching and make sure to check out the other LumaFusion tutorials on the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon in the next video.